Okay. So we add or subtract with different bases, not base 10. Okay. A, I have 2 1 2 1 base 3 plus 1 0 2 2 base 3 So when you add that base 10 is 10 about if 10 you write on 0 then you carry 1 and then it's about 10 let's say 11 is 11 minus 1 is I mean 11 minus 10 is 1, then you carry 1. Okay. Similar to uh, uh -huh. base 3. If you add, okay, if you add, so let's say we know that 1 plus 2 gives you 3. But that's 3 here, is the base. So we say 3 minus 3 is 0. So you write down 0. Right on zero. Then you carry group one group of three. Then we have one plus two plus two. So it gives you five. So it's about base now. Five. Five say five minus three gives you two. So I write on two there. Then I carry one group of uh, one group of three again. Then you add 1 plus 1 plus 0, that's give you 2. But below that, the base, that is your answer. So it's 2. Okay, similar here, we add 2 plus 1, give you 3. But 3 is equal to the base. You cannot write down 3. Similar to base 10, right? 10 you write down 0. In this case, it's the same thing. So 3 minus 3 gives you 0. So then you carry one group up 3, which is 1. So it's 3 here. So you add 2, 1, 2, 1, base 3, plus 1, 0, 2, 2, base 3. That's equal to 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, base 3. So that's part A, OK? That's part A. Okay, that's part A. Okay, let's see if we do part B. B is... We have 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, base 4. Add to 3, 2, 1, base 4. Okay. Okay, let's add 2 plus 1. Give you 3. So, load on the base. That is your final answer. That is 3. Then you have to add to the next digits, which is 4. So, the next digits, which is We have 3, 3 plus 2 gives you 5, but 5 is above the base, so you cannot have digits above the base, right? Or equals to the base. So in this case, we say, we say 5 minus 3 equals 2. 5 minus 3 gives you 2. You have another 2 here. Then you carry one group of 3 again. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives you what? 6, right? So you don't write down 6. That means 6. See, this is 6 minus, five, uh, 6 minus 4. 4. Sorry. Let me redo again. So the first one is so three plus two gives you 
5, but this is base 4, not base 3, I apologize. So, 5 minus 4 gives you 1. So that's 1. Then we carry one group of 4. Then we have 4 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 6. Then 6 is about the base. 6 is about the base. So 6 minus 4 gives you 2. I don't know 2. Then I carry one group of 4 again. So then 1 plus 1 gives you 2. 2 is less than the base. So that's the final answer. So we say that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, base 4 plus 3, 2, 1, base 4. That's equal to 2, 2, 1, 3, base 4. Remember, the digit of the base must be than the base. If equals to the base, more than the base, that answer is not right. Okay? So that's part, that's part B. That's part B. Okay. That's part B. Okay, let's look at, look at example uh, B. Let's look at example. Let's look at C. So C is, we have 1, C is 1, 4, 3, 4, 5, plus base 5, plus 4, 3, 2, 3, base 5, here last time. Remember all the digits must be less than 5, right? Okay. So we have 4 plus 3 gives you 7. Then 7 is greater than the base, so we can have that. We have to subtract. Take 7 minus 5 gives you 2. We carry one group of uh, one group of 5. So then we have 1 plus 3 plus 2 gives you 6. And 6 is about the 5, you can say 6 minus 5 gives you 1. So we carry 1 on top of that, because it's about the base that we get here. Okay. So then we have, we add again, 4 plus 3, I mean 1 plus 4 plus 3. 1 plus 4 plus 3, that's give you a. Well, A is about the base, so this is base 5. So it's like A minus 5 gives you 3. So we write down 3 here. Here we one group of 5 again. So we have, from here we have 1 plus 1 plus 4 gives you 6. So 6 minus 5 gives you 1. So that's 1 here. Then carry one group of 5, so it's 1. Well, 1, 4, 3, 4, base 5 add to 4, 3, 2, 3, base 5 equals to 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, base 5. Okay, that's example C. That's example C. Okay, let's look at example D. Let's look at example D. Okay, so D. D is Now D, if we do subtracting, okay, subtract a little bit different. So D is 5, 4, 4, 1, base 6. 1, 5, 5, 3, base 6. Okay. 
Well, subtract base 10, and in this case, base 5. I'm sorry, in this case, base 6. So similar to base 10, you subtract, you subtract A for the basis. So we know that 1 is smaller than 3. 1 is smaller than 3. We have to borrow one group of 6 from 3. I mean, some 4, which is 3 here. So then we have to add, have to write down 1 plus 6 now. Okay, that's base 6, right? So that's give you 7. So I write 7 on top here. So 7 minus 3, we say 7 minus 3, 7 minus 3, give you 4. We write down 4 here, okay? 7 minus 3, give you 4. And my take you four. Okay. Okay. So here we borrow. We say borrow one group of six from from four. Okay. Then we have we have then we have one plus six B U seven. Okay. Similar to the next column here, we have next digit we have three smaller than five. We have to borrow one group of so we have borrow. Borrow one group of six from four in this case. Then we have so three plus six give you nine. So I write a nine on top here. So we say nine minus five give you four, right on top here. Okay. So this becomes three. We borrow now three, right? Then we have to borrow one group of six from five again. Borrow one group of six from five. So we borrow one plus zero five. That's four. Borrow one group of six from five. Then we have three plus. Three plus six give you nine. So we write down nine on top here. So here is nine. Nine minus five. Four, right? Four here. Okay. Well, since four is bigger than one, we don't need to borrow. So just four minus one is four minus one is three. So the answer put three right here. That's base six. So if you subtract 5, 4, 4, 1, base 6, minus 1, 5, 5, 3, base 6, equals to 3, 4, 4, 4, base 6. Okay? Okay, let's move to the next example. Okay, let's move to the next example. Start with D. Now we move on to E, okay? Start E.
by E. Okay, e is you have one, five, six, one, base seven, minus two, five, three, base seven. Again, similar to the previous example, this is subtracting. So we need to borrow one, since one smaller than three, then borrow one group from, uh, of seven from six. So borrow one group of seven from six. Then we have so we borrow here, that's going to be 5. Then we have 1 plus 7 now, because this is base uh, 7, so that's going to be 8. So we write up 8 here. Then we have 8 minus 7. Sorry, 8 minus 3. We use 5, so write down 5. Okay. Well, 5, 5 equals each other, we can subtract, right? We don't need to borrow. Okay. So we can subtract in this case. So that means 5 minus 5 gives you 0. So that's not the basis. Okay. And then 0 is so. 5 minus 5 gives you 0. Then similar here, 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 gives you 3. And then 3 here. And then 1 is 1 minus 0. Is, sorry, so 1 is so. So if we have, we're subtracting 1, 5, 6, 1 base 7 minus 2, 5, 3 base 7 equals to 1, 3, 0, 5 base 7. Okay, so that's example E. That's example E. Okay, let's move on to another example. Example A, B, C, D, E. This is F, okay, let's move on to F. So F. F is we have seven two four base A minus three four six base A. So here we have, it's in base 8 now, 7, 2, 4, base 8, minus 3, 4, 6, base 8. Okay, you want to, since 4 is smaller than 6, we need to borrow 1 group of 8 from 2. So we have to borrow 1 group of 8, so it's come 1, okay? Borrow, borrow 1 group of A from 2. Then we have okay, 4 plus 8 now, we use 12. So 4 plus 8 is 12. Let me write on this concept. 4 plus 8 is 12. So 12 here. Then say 12 minus 6. That's give you 6. So that's 6 here. Again, <coughs> 1 is more than 4. We need to borrow 1 group of 8 from 7. Borrow 1 group of 8 from Seven in this case, so become six. Then have one plus a. Then we have one plus a gives you nine. So then we have nine. Write down nine on top. Nine minus four gives you five. 